Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you all how whenever you run into a, uh, I got a um, smoke Primus Cooper 300. But eventually your tank will get to the point where it just spins and spins. It will not tighten up. So I'm going to show you today how to fix that real quick. So here we go. First thing you do is you got to take your tank off. Which it should spin off, no problem. Let's get your tank off there. Set your tank aside. Set the light down there so you get a little bit of control. Oh, shit, not down there. My bad. Little light malfunction. That's all good. The camera down where it's got to be. Yum, yum. All right, so there we go. I'll start recording now. Okay, so then you take your smallest metric um, Allen wrench and loosen your bolts. You got a little magnetic tray which helps to keep the stuff in. But you want to take your bolts out one. I always take them out of the you know cross pattern, one in that corner, one in that corner. Now you get these out here real quick, spin them out. Try to get as fast as possible here. Two. Three, uh, maybe three, yeah, maybe four here. Three will come right out there. Okay, get your four screws out. They're Allen keys, of course. Your smallest metric. So after you got those four out, put them in my middle magnetic dish. So that, of course, really I'm not freaking out because I lost it. Then when you pop it out, just be careful because your wires right there, as you can see. Um, I'll try to get it as close as I can to the camera. Your wires right here where it's connected. And then you got like the t the black wire goes in and it's soldered onto a piece, as you can see. Like I don't know if you can see it right there or not. But what you want to do is you want to get your vice grips, get your real, the tiniest vice grips you can have, you can get. And then if you look on that key, okay, there's a tiny little. You can move the top the top wire around. There's a tiny little flat spot on that top piece. You want to get your uh, channel locks in there on that flat piece as best you can. So you're not screwing. Make sure you do not break a wire. If you break a wire, I'm not responsible because that's just a choice. You know, I mean, this is something that I came to do. I've broken wires. I've had to resolder them. You might have to, if you can't solder, you have to pay somebody. You have to pay in the butt. But once you get a good grip on that, then I take my tank, which I don't, you don't like to use my good tanks. So I take a tank, like for example, this just um, RDA, and I will screw it on as tight as I can get it. Pop the top off. Screw it on, okay. And once it's on there tight, I take my trustworthy old 1982 valve, 1882 pliers, and I will just crank that as tight as I can get it like that. And hopefully it, it's tightening that up there. So when I want to get it off, then all I need to do is get that there piece loose. And once I get that there off, and we hurry up, take our grips off, boom. Okay, take this piece here. You can actually let that piece on for a second if you want. Put that in there. Get your Allen wrench. Put a, one of your bolts back in there like that. Make sure everything's like down in there. Boom, bam. Clicks right in the spot. Put your bolts back in. Make sure it's clicked down. So I say you just don't semi tighten the first one. Get the second one. Put it on your little Allen wrench. Make sure you get the right size because if you strip this out, well, that's so well, and that's, I'm sorry, but you no, know, that's one of the gambles I guess you take of doing this crap yourself. But I'm just telling you, so for head of sake, so nobody gets, I don't get any complaints. So, oh, you didn't tell me you were going to strip out a bolt if I did it to the, at least you know what you're getting yourself into. And then you get the top second on her, bam, get that, sec get that top corner in there, screw your second one down. Make sure you keep your Allen wrenches as straight as possible. Damn it. Keep it straight, like I said. And that one will get in there any second now, unless I miss the hole. Okay, that one's in. Take your third one. Put it in back yon door. Over here. In this distance. And yeah, you don't want to even like really crank these like, like overly tight, so. 
you can just put your wrench in there and like free spin it around. And once it once it's like down in countersunk, you can see here. I'll show you real quick. You got one more to go. Get them in there. Boom. I'm gonna get this other front one in just to make sure it's nice and tight and snug and everything's looking all dandy, pretty little. Uh, you want to take the batteries out, which you know depends on how what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, you're not gonna screw anything up. I'd recommend taking the batteries out. I mean, that's the only common sense. All right, now you got your four screws back in. Want to make sure they're snug. Go back around one. Okay, get a diamond pattern two. Down pattern, see, because then look, that one there was tight, but now it's loose. So that's up. Okay, and then the back one, that's snug. In case you're all good. Okay, take your crappy RDA off that you can, you know, that you don't need anymore. That you use this for tightening it. And when you screw your your sub ohm back on, as you see, voila, it's tight. It won't tighten right back up. Or spawn. Look, that's how you fix Look at what it's tight. It's only spent a little bit, but you're going to get a heck of a lot tighter than it was. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any comments. Thanks. Please subscribe.